Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. I want to wish you guys the very best for this month and I hope that you can put more positive energy into the universe. I think that that's something very important and we are living in very trialing times. I think that um, things are going to get a little bit more heavy before they get lighter. So again, be positive. Anyways, let's get into your reading, Libra. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of October 2020. All right. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. I hope you are staying positive. Let's see what's going on. All right. Ooh, okay. Libra, you're starting the month feeling a bit restrictive. For some of you guys, this could have been um, feeling like you were, there is some type of communication that ended. Um, it could have been that you were, you know, ghosted. It could have been that uh, your partner or a person that was very close to you all of a sudden stopped communicating. Um, now, what they're showing me here is the Six of Wands represents the obstacle that is currently uh, that you need to currently overcome. So there's some type of ego involved here. For some of you guys, it could have been um, a situation in at work. It could have been that you felt like people were not appreciating your hard work. Uh, it could have been that you weren't getting the recognition you wanted. Um, as I do see the Eight of Pentacles here, and this is like really focused and really putting in the effort or the work. Uh, to th to keep things afloat. And I think that with the five of pentacles, there is a, a little bit of a feeling of resentment. Now, this could be in regards to relationships or this could be in regards to a work situation. Nonetheless, the recognition will be coming through Libra as you do have the six of wands here and the star card. So these two cards represents people being able to acknowledge or people coming to the understanding that there needs to be some type of validation in regards to the hard work. Now, if this is in regards to relationships, I do see them coming back around. But the reason why they come back around or they try to make communication is because they may feel that you have better things going on in their in your life as most exes would do right <laughs> they see you doing good and they want to make contact so the the message here what they're telling you is if this is in regards to a relationship or a partnership you have the six of wands and this is something that is crowning you so it represents you need to move on or you need to walk away from those who have taken you for granted or from those who have not appreciated what you've brought into their life or what you've brought into a partnership you have to believe more in yourself libra if there is a fear in you of being alone and you have a tendency of going back to an ex because there's no prospects or because you feel like you every person you meet doesn't really meet your expectations what they're telling you here is don't go back because of complacency even if it takes a while i have the knight of pentacles here and this is talking about taking the time to be practical in working on yourself libra even if it takes a little bit of finding yourself but you have to be patient through this process why you have the six of wands and the star card that's victory that's being able to find a person that is most ideal for you uh, this has to do with validation. This this has to do with um, really shining and people seeing uh, or being able to see you for who you really are. But you have to be patient in not returning to that of the past or that which has not worked out for you. Now, the advice here is the king of cups. So having in control or being in control of your emotions, Libra, I think that for the month of October, you're going to be a little bit overwhelmed and you may be feeling uh, like mood swings, like uh, even snapping at some people. What they're telling you here is try the best you can to maintain uh, your emotions, to make decisions with the cool head. Don't make irrational decisions based, based on, you know, temporary anger, temporary, um, you know, being upset, anything like that. Um, even if it takes for you to take a step back, to take a deep breath, to ground yourself, 
and then to try to deal with the situation that is arising. That's what's going to be the best of your interest for this month of October. Now, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, I see an Aquarius here, and I also see a Pisces, but it could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that you may be dealing with. Now, the energy currently influencing you is the Empress, and this is your card, Libra. So with the Six of Wands and the Star card and the Empress, what they're telling you here is if you've been depreciated, if people have taken you for granted, if, you know, like I said, they ghost at you and all of a sudden they want to come back around, I feel a lot of people really being drawn to you. And I think October is going to be very ideal for you singles out there. With the Six of Wands and the Star card, this is popularity. But this also represents like people really, like you're really getting people's attention. And with your card, this is a representation of Amplified Venus. So again, I feel that for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that are single, you're going to be having a lot of opportunities come up. A lot of people are going to want to get to know you. You're going to be catching a lot of people's eye, um, eyes. So again, don't rush to the past. If they haven't treated you the way you should be treated, close the door on that and move forward. Work on yourself, Libra, for the month of October. You're going to not only be more empowered, but you're also going to feel that you're starting to attract people that are very different to the people that you usually have attracted. Why? Because you are vibrating to a higher frequency, meaning you're not going to be attracting fuck boys or fuck girls. You're going to be attracting women, men, people that are genuinely mature. And I think that that's what you're in search of at the moment. Now, again, we have a lot of love surrounding you, Libra. So I think that October is definitely going to be a month of love for you guys where there's going to be. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot of love offerings. There's going to be a lot of people trying to fight for your attention. There's going to be a lot of people trying to get your attention. So again, don't rush into going back to the past because of complacency or because there's a fear of being alone. My advice for you guys is put your energy and effort on working on yourself and slowly you will start to see people being drawn to you, people actively pursuing you where you don't have to guess if they're interested or not. Now, for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, I do feel that you guys are going to definitely be challenged for this month because I do see a lot of attention. Now, this could be attention coming towards you or this could be attention coming towards your partner where there's going to be uh, a bit of aggression coming up. This could be jealousy. This could be a little bit of envy. Um, but more than anything, I feel that it's like jealousy. Like, why are you responding or why are you smiling? Or even if your partner doesn't have a tendency of being jealous, I feel that they're definitely going to be tested for this month. And it's only because, like I said, you're vibrating to a higher frequency. And Venus is definitely amplifying you. So again, it's really putting... Uh, the spotlight on you, Libra. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon.